and and you know they need the, I think one strong argument you know or, or one argument or, you know effective one they'll probably make is oh they need it they need to authorize more shares so they can you know uh, continue to pay you know exorbitant stock based compensation to the you know to the management. Mm-hmm. Um, personally, I, I well, don't think that's there, a fair it, argument because in, because it's very the obvious that the main reason they're doing it is because they need because to of they have ec- debt. they they're have distressed. equity issues. Yep. They're, they're distressed. The property, Cineworld is in, in bankruptcy. Cine- okay. You, but, you but can't it, ignore it, reality. Cineworld is in bankruptcy. Their debt is trading at 60 cents on the dollar. That means if things don't change, if they don't raise capital, eventually they'll be the next one in bankruptcy. Yeah. So one yeah, of the things already- that I found, one of the things that I found was when you go back to the, to the 2013 comp plan, right. And mm-hmm. I posted it on my timeline, like in the event of what you're about to see here and with the reverse split and all of that stuff, they make adjustments to the comp plans that are quote unquote equitable to the employees so they already have that laid out they've also laid out that they will adjourn the meeting and they will go find the votes if they don't get them but i want to go back to the to the fairness thing right so in the you know case the one thing that i did notice that we haven't really brought up here is that there is a section that talks about how the 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 massive amounts of selling that happened when it was released by index funds who are not permitted to hold, they were not permitted to hold it, so they had to sell it. Uh So that created a situation for Abe that everybody saw, obviously. But if he has a team of securities lawyers who knew that they're not permitted to hold Abe, right? That they knew that like when they gave out only to the shareholders, right? Which would include the index funds who were holding massive, massive, you know, hundreds of millions of shares, like that they were going to have to dump those, which would immediately put a at risk of, of, a, of a massive sell off, right? And then that's going to obviously panic people. It wasn't shorts when it was released, it was index funds who aren't permitted to hold ape that that dumped all of their shares that started the sell off on ape. And if there were security lawyers who put this together. They knew it was going to happen, and that's, okay, that's so, a, well. So they what, did what, put it in there. Like what, I, I understand what, that they so they brought what? it up, it's, but like point one twelve. See, this is where I find that that argument that they no, made no, a little no. weak because the the disclosure said specifically that it should trade at the same price. Should. But but uh, but yes, obviously. But yes, it, yeah, it should. But it way, would, and they're still saying that now. And they're saying the, the reason court. that they're it, doing it. Right. It's, it's that's that's why I'm saying true. is, yeah. But it, it was yeah. never going to yeah, trade yeah, yeah, at the yeah, same yeah. value. Like, so they split off. They take the value from AMC. So, no, but and it was yeah, never going to trade it, it at could, the same value. Well, well, but that's the reason why you have it make it convertible. You know, if you make it convertible, you know, but basically what, what the board was trying to do, Amy, 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 you have to understand what the board was trying to do. Imagine you're you're on, you're a member of the board of directors, and we all go and we say, "Guys, we have a mortgage on the house. We're not making enough money to pay the mortgage, and it's you know, and the mortgage you know has a balloon payment in two years, and right you know, uh, and in two years you know we're not going to have enough money to pay off the mortgage." Uh-huh. Um, you know, you, you have to make it when you're in the board of directors, you have to find a way to prevent. Well, you know, one option is you could file for bankruptcy and then you turn over the house. To and the, to and the all the equity holders go to zero. So yeah, you, all the equity yes, holders go to so zero. Including the board. So he should have filed bankruptcy in 2020 when he could have come mm-hmm. out. Of I, well, but this isn't this isn't a matter that's for a discussion before the court on this, though. Yeah. That, y- y- yes, that's the answer. But. That is the answer that he should have done it, and he hit the the meme stock lottery. But that's not before the court. Lottery. He had thirty it, million dollars tied up in it, and he wanted it back. But this goes back to his fiduciary duty and serving himself. He I would disagree himself. with that. Right, yes, yeah. yes, he has. I I, I, I don't right. doubt that that he sold out of his he position. But what I'm saying that. is that no, the, this this right. falls under that this. This falls under um, his. If he had, if he had filed for bankruptcy in 2020, him mm-hmm. and all of the rest of the board members 
and executives would have had to give up their equity, and they weren't going to do it. And they put themselves. I don't understand. Well, point. Amy, are you saying that they should have filed for bankruptcy and wiped out equity? Absolutely. So all AMC is sure to go to zero. That would. I'm sure if if, if you look at it from a pure if you look at it from a purely logical standpoint, that that's 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 that's. I mean, if you look at it from a purely bankruptcy, the stock goes to zero. This is basic finance. First of all, it doesn't. No, it doesn't go to zero. It 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 could go to zero. I mean, in nine Yes, because in order to pay off the debt holders, they make them the new equity holders in the company. You're talking to a bankruptcy. You know, someone who practices bankruptcy law. I understand. Amy, you're talking to someone who practices bankruptcy law. If a company files for bankruptcy, the shareholders are in almost every scenario, except for you know, except for. Except for freak scenarios like uh, what was it, uh, Hertz, Hertz, which is like a once in a lifetime. Works, but what I'm saying is he could have. Yes, he could have filed I understand that, but I'm saying almost always when, he, when a company debt, files for bankruptcy, that's if they get anymore. Chapter 11 instead of Chapter 7. It could very well be that they can't find a way to reorganize the debt, and it's seven, and AMC is done, and then nobody gets anything. No. Except it's he liquidation. Be able to reorganize the debt right. before before interest rates started to rise. Before he got himself into quite the pickle that but that's, he's in now. But that's 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 all conjecture. Okay. There, there's a, wait, like wait, if we're going to talk the bankruptcy wait, thing, wait, we have to talk that it could have been a total dead think? company. He also wait, 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 had to give up his entire equity. But Amy, are you saying if they fall for bankruptcy, that would be better for the company? I'm just confused. What? It, what's even? What are we if, even if, talking if about? If he had done it in 2020. Filed for protection, retired debt, remained, you know, gone through with the COVID thing, were opened up. But that's not how that bankruptcy works. Open and Amy, that's not how bankruptcy works. Yeah. How is that that's not, not how, how bankruptcy, how bankruptcy works? works at all? Yes, but that's not how bankruptcy works at all. Once you enter bankruptcy, the rules of bankruptcy apply. Mm -hmm. I understand right? that. All right. You can't just say, I'm going to pay up. So, how do you pay off? How do you pay off all the debt when you're in bankruptcy? You have to liquidate assets to like the money. physical capital yeah, or no, raise sell, money. You know, yeah. You sell, yeah, you have to raise money or you have to sell, sell it. But then that means the shareholders almost certainly are not going to get anything. I mean, and not only that, once you file for bankruptcy, what do you think your, your landlords do? What do your suppliers do? I, I mean, deuces. I'm out. Continuing. All right. This isn't even. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. They, that's the, they, they go out and say, markets, yeah. Yeah, no, people in stream markets know that that's ridiculous. So, like, once you file a company into bankruptcy, it, like, it, like it, it's almost like you're just asking for, you know, that's not good for shareholders, <laughs> basically. Uh, you know, especially when it's a weak time. I, I'm not saying it's good for the shareholders. You know, like, I'm not saying that it's good for the shareholders. But in 2020, yeah, so he, didn't not, have 90, he didn't have 95% of retail holding this stock. Yeah, what, well, what they did basically in 20, you know, 2020, 2021 is they sold as much shares as they could to raise capital and to stay out of bankruptcy. And they did stay out of bankruptcy up until this point, unlike their competitors, which weren't meme stocks and weren't able to do so. However, he got up to a being a meme stock. Being a meme stock is not justification. For it, it allows the company to stay alive under its current structure, though, because you have people willing to buy your stock at any price. It, I, I get that, but once, once, it's it's kind of. I know it seems like splitting hairs at you know the shares get diluted down to almost zero, or the company goes to zero. What's the difference? But for for some shareholders, there is a difference. <laughs> I, I I don't know. And, and for the board, you know, you have to remember that the board has a, a fiduciary duty, uh, not just to the shareholders, but also to the company. Yep. Uh, and, and other stakeholders, you know, you, you have people who are employed, you know, right? There's a lot of retail shareholders that they're involved in this. They want to wait for the squeeze, whatever. They don't give a crap about people who literally, you know, their their entire career, you know, rests on how this company does. And then you have a bunch of, you know, shareholders that, They'd rather see the company potentially go bankrupt if it means there might be a short-term squeeze, you know? And that's probably one of the most perverse things about the, pl the plaintiff, you know, the plaintiff lawsuit is that aspect of it, you know, and that very cynical. Um, 
And I'm sure it'll get drug out you know, through the proceedings. Why a lot of the, you know, retail is in this is, you know, you, I, you know, I hear these faces. A lot of them say when you start to bring up, hey, this company needs to avoid bankruptcy. They need to be able to raise money. I don't care about the fundamentals, man. We're not here for the fundamentals. We're, we're here, here for the, the we're here for the squeeze in the company right second. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, but there's people who literally their their job relies on that, and they're you know they're and um, you know they have families and stuff, you know. So when you're on the board of directors, you have a fiduciary duty not just to your shareholders, and you know, and also, do you think you have fiduciary fiduciary duty to your shareholders who just want to squeeze and who don't care if people lose their jobs, or do you think you have a fiduciary duty to your shareholders? who want the company to be a viable, healthy business for the long term. I know we have a bunch yeah. of... I'm sorry, but he, he furloughed all the employees and then gave himself a $5 million bonus. I'm sorry, but I'm not buying this fucking, like, oh, the poor employees. Because he didn't give a yeah, shit. But that, but that, but, but that, but that's not what's at issue. It's not, you know, you, can, you can vote him out. You can vote him out in, in, in the annual meeting. You can vote someone else to be CEO. You can vote, some, I mean, to, to be on the board of directors and selected different CEO. And that's so always been my, my argument is, on this issue outside yeah. of the merits of the case is why do they continue to let Adam Aaron be the the CEO and chairman of the company when obviously he's poorly managed this company since he walked in the door in 2016? That's, I know, completely different from yeah. the lawsuit discussion that is... Which, but, yes, is when he brought in almost $6 billion yeah. worth of yeah. It didn't have shit to do with yeah. COVID. But that's a different... Yeah. We're, we're, we're focusing on the lawsuit, so that's that's a different, like, over there thing. But, yeah. 